It's February 2019. Our show is on once a month. This is our February show. Today we're going to have Darshini on. She's been on before, world-renowned psychic and medium who is going to talk about weather, disasters, and also how there's so much depression and sadness and so many things that are going wrong in this world and people are being affected by all this. So we're going to get into those three subjects with Darshini. All right, let's get to our show. I'm going to introduce uh, Darshini, who's a great psychic. She's renowned. She was in Europe for a while and made some great predictions. From my sources, they were 90, 95% correct, predicting all kinds of catastrophes. She's going to talk about the weather, and then finally we're going to talk about how there's so much uh, uncertainty of what's going on in the world, and it's causing sadness, depression, and uncertainty of what to do. Darshinia, welcome to the show. How are you? Fine. Thank you so much for having me on. Appreciate it. Good. Good. Well, let's get started. Uh, those three subjects, take them one at a time, and, and I want to come in just a little bit here and there with you. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're going to also start just very, very quickly with uh, some predictions which did come true. I know you've got quite a few clients in the East Coast, and I have predicted some uh, earthquakes in the New York region, and um, they it's 1.5 to, and um, there is going to be a higher earthquake there. So um, just be warned about it. Um, and that's one of them. There's earthquakes that have come true around the world, and people can, when they have time or if they, in, you know, inclined to do it, they can go on my channel and uh, check out the 2019 predictions, which are all, you know, for Europe, America, obviously, Asia, and um, even Middle Eastern. So um, the weather uh, we're going to quickly uh, cover. It's obviously. Um, sadly that I predicted that you're going to be coming into a grip and it's a polar vortex at the moment and uh, coming in, as I said, from Canada. And it is going to continue, I'm afraid, in waves, even though you may get about a three to four day respite from this current one, you're going to get another one that's um, round about four or five days in, and I already predicted this in February, but the, um, you're going to get rounds of this, literally, uh, phases of it. And it won't be as extreme as it is today with the, the lowest uh, wind chills and everything. But you will be seeing around about um, mid uh, mid February uh, the ones that are going to be far more extreme, even more than this, where it's um, not only one or two days, it's three to four days with snow drifts reaching really high. You can see the predictions on that one. So please know that this is going to affect mostly from uh, the tip of Washington down into a triangle as far as even the extreme colds going down to Atlanta and even into the tip of Jacksonville or Milan where it's going into um, spoiling crops, I'm afraid, uh, for futures. So there is a lot of, um, um, not exactly disaster, but I mean, you're going to affect the crops, I'm afraid. So just be careful. Um, it, I already predicted that these are going to just continue on the extreme, um, on breaking records as well as matching, if not exceeding those records for cold, uh, snow and everything else. But there, is going to be, there are going to be two more polar vortexes coming in from the northern regions and poor Canada, I tell you. Um, I don't know how they even put up with it, but uh, all these years, but it is going to get worse, I'm afraid, um, and more is discussed in the book. So we'll keep it there for the moment. Flooding, I already covered in the predictions. Um, it's going to be more mid from really New Mexico. Some areas of Arizona are going to get flash flooding, uh, monsoon weather, but that's later on. But even Dallas is going to experience, and this is also, which is weird, you're going to experience more tornadoes um, with this extreme cold. It's as if it's a clash, and that will start around right about March to April, more of the tornadoes, I'm afraid. Okay? So I hope I've covered in safety those items that you wanted me to. Does that help? 
You covered it well. It's excellent. Uh, for our listeners, this is Darshini speaking, our guest today on Let's Create a Better World. I'm your host, Bobby Elias. We're doing a half the show with Darshini now. This will be done uh, also, and it'll, it'll come on right after this one, but we're just staying half an hour with this first part. Uh, we're doing, we do this uh, usually a tape uh, a few days before the first of the month, and we're talking about the first of February. So the show should be on within the first week of February, usually first or second or third, uh, and it'll be on for the whole month of February with Darshini, who is talking about weather, disasters, and the state of the country, uh, state of the world of how so many things going on that people are uncertain, they're stressed, they're depressed, and we're going to talk about that also. Um, Darshini has been very, very accurate with her predictions um, all over the world. Uh, I first heard about her when she was in Europe and making great predictions on disasters and weather. Um, so carrying on, Darshini, we had the, the two subjects. Uh, just carry on from where you left off but to the next subject or wherever you'd like. Go right ahead. Yeah, thank you. Well, there's a lot of other things going on, and I'm afraid um, I'm going to really put, bring this on because of the current uh, shutdown in the government, and uh, this is coming in. Um, I was going to do a separate video, and Bobby called me for the show, so I might as well um, introduce it here. And I have always said in all the predictions that I've done that there will be an increase in suicide, and every year it is increasing where it's kind of even as much as one to three people, one in three people are just devastated. Now, I do the signs, which is really, it, we're going through an evolution, whether people believe it or not. And every millennia, really, that uh, the humans go through, well, everything really, goes through an energy change. And that's how I read, it's through energy, pure energy, and mm -hmm. dimensions. So we go through an evolutionary change where we actually take a leap it sounds like a sci-fi TV show, but basically that's what we're going through. And um, but in that, during that evolution, obviously we're being torn cell by cell in a way because of our energy. So we are. I have, I'm in the process of putting the book out now at last, but um, it's covering only about 350 signs. But these are very specific signs that you yourself is you're going through it. Now, one of the main few signs, the one of them is that you're feeling really uh, desperate about life, Bobby, and that you're, um, you know, you're facing challenges that before you could handle, but now you can't for some reason. And people are getting, um, the depression is getting blacker and darker and um, deeper, and that they are literally thinking of suicide. A lot of even tried suicide. Um, and they've succeeded. Um, there are a lot of clients of mine, um, you know, I always go backwards when they're doing a reading, and I usually say, you know, you've tried, not usually, but I can view, and that some of them, that I've told them, they've, you know, you tried three times already and you didn't succeed or it didn't go through, and they confirm it, unfortunately, and this is because they don't know that they're going through this shift. So this is important, and... Um, what we know that, that we are going through a massive shift and suicide is kind of prevalent for people which who they believe, feel that they have nothing left. Now, especially with the uncertainty of the world, um, government and um, everything else is going around. Uh, one of the major, major signs that I always put out is that I'd like to know how many people out there have wanted to, even though they love their family, love their children, et cetera, et cetera, they can't stand it any longer. They want to get in the car and then just drive and not come back, disappear, start an even start a new life if they have to, but they don't care. They're that much in destitution that they, um, it's not a, even about the money so much. It's about themselves, and they're going in through such an evolution within their own energy. So this is only one of the, that's a major sign, but the other signs of depression, everything else. So what I'd like you to do, and in the book it covers some exercises for you to recognize these signs, but also see what you can do with it and work with it. But what you have to realize here is not worry about the bigger picture. 
sound awful to say that, but not say that, oh, the government's doing this and the government. Don't get um, obsessive. And a lot of people, one of the signs is obsessiveness. What is happening in your own backyard, Bobby? What is going on in your own life that matters? Are you working on financially just making, you know, just making it? Or are you um, worry about what the food is, um, what your needs are, shelter, food, water? Um, this is what we need to concentrate on. And then you'll feel a bit more um, centered and not so fractured that, you know, all these things that we're going through. And when you do that, your life comes into a bit of a balance, more of a balance, where you get more control. Now, control also, in my class on Face Your Fear, which is the most brutal class I teach, um, I, there's an anatomy of fear I put out. And one of the um, strings of that branch is really... Um, the more you try and control something, the less control you have over it. So it's not about the control now. It's about establishing what are your needs now? Who are you? And know that you are going to change. You, and that's another big sign, just quickly, Bobby, sorry, is that you aren't the same person. And tell me, you know, really evaluate this on your own basis. You aren't the same person you were back on two years ago three weeks ago even, you're changing so rapidly, it could be even in one day, 24 hours or even seven hours. It could be three weeks, um, six weeks. But you're changing and the evolution is so fast, that's why you're in a bit of a tailspin and you can't control it. So those, uh, there are some major, major signs, that's another major sign. So when you recognize these signs, some of them I will put out a prelude to the book about some of the signs, which some of the videos I've already put out. But people, please, start worrying about what your basic needs are and that you've got the security. Um, and there are people to talk to. And I know, I hate to say it, mostly the friends and family close to you are not the ones that you feel that you can talk to, which is a real sadness. That you need to realize that life will present people to you and you will get through it. Um, and basically, in a nutshell, Bobby, that's it. To that subject, anyway. That, that's a great nutshell. Too. A lot of great information um, for our listeners. This is Darshini speaking uh, about world events and weather disasters, and also the state of how there's uncertainty all over the world about what's going on and um, depression to a large degree. And your thoughts and your advice are wonderful, and I want to continue with all this. Um, just to let our listeners know that this is Let's Create a Better World, and we're on once a month now. I'll give you once again the information on how to reach our show at the end of the show. Um, and um, we're doing two parts of the show. We're doing This is the first part of the show, and uh, we'll have another information on this, the second part of the show. Uh, but it's all being put together. We usually do a tape of the show on the last few days of, of one month, and then it goes on the first part of the next month. We're going to be going into more into holistic health coming up in the next few months and more about um, this, uh, the state of how health is growing, big, uh, new, uh, new breakthroughs in health and science and research. There's so many things going on in this whole world. Anyway, let's get back to our guest, Darshini. I'll go ahead and continue, Darshini. At the very end, I want to urge our listeners to get her contact information. Feel free to, to communicate with her. She is really, really outstanding. That's why she's on the show. Darshini. Yes, sorry. Yes, of course. Um, well, you could, um, obviously, YouTube is there. It's Darshini and Spirit, the channel. If you wish to contact me, you can go through and email um, me at Darshini, which is D-A-R-S-H-I-N-I -I underscore in spirit, uh, one word, um, at yahoo.com. And um, that's really basically, that's how I communicate. I don't call people back. Um, if you wish a reading, you could, I'll send you what you need to know because I'm brutally honest, I'm afraid. Uh, only when you need it, obviously. But um, that is something that uh, people, I'm not here to be nice. I'm here to help you through whatever you are facing at the moment. 
and a lot of people are keen to say this, and you know, Bobby, that um, you encounter this with all your guests to, um, who speak to, and that is that people are so close to the tree, uh, they're kissing the bark of the tree instead of really um, seeing what's really out there. And um, all we are are, um, and I'm a clear cognitive, so, which is everything, and that is um, we are, are just mirrors to you, and we're confirmations of certain things that have happened in your life, but also um, where you're going to be, hopefully. And it's frustration, you know, and don't be surprised if some of your loved ones do come who have crossed over during the reading, and that is something that it's their choice. I never block them. I don't go through them to talk to you. I'm totally independent of that because I just do it slowly through, as I mentioned, through energy, pure energy, and dimensions where I go backwards in the present and uh, forward for your future. But, um, you know, it, it's something that we all want somebody else to confirm we're going to be all right. Um, and it's, it's just sad that we're going through such um, an upheaval within ourselves. Even animals, you'll notice. Your animals out there, um, your pets, um, are reacting where they're even getting depressed. Um, it's so um, interesting that if you monitor them, they've been going through shifts as well, where one minute they're really ecstatic, but kind of in the last seven months, they've been actually very depressed. So, um, and they're quieter than what their normal character is. Go check that out, and I'm talking about any animal. So, you know, can you let Bobby know or me know if that's true? Uh, by the way, this video will be, um, I am videoing, uh, videotaping this, and uh, Bobby's show will be on the YouTube for anybody to listen to this again, because obviously sometimes we miss right. things. Anyway. Sorry, right, go ahead. Oh, okay, and then, um, you know, and we're going to um, go into a lot of other things in the future. Um, in politically, I, I don't really want to touch on it, but that situation is only going to get worse. I'm not going to get too uh, politically, um, not sensitive, but um, verbal about it. Uh, the, what, that's why I want people to really look at their home life, who their friends are. And one of the other signs is that you're not having the, um, the friends that usually are around you aren't there anymore. In other words, you've evicted them, where it's not the same thing anymore, um, that you've um, distanced yourself even from certain relatives, which sometimes are toxic, I'm afraid, um, and you're more isolated, you're a hermit more. Um, you want clear a clarity in your life. You want simplicity in your life. You're clearing out your closet. I mean, all of these are some of the multiple signs I've put out. Uh, which I know to this program, usually we usually, Bobby and I talk about the future, but it's also important for us to um, address you, the, the listener, um, and recognize and confirm that we do listen to you. We are reading you, and we're trying, to, Spirit is trying to protect you. Um, there's something called the Candle Lesson, and you can just put my name, Joshi and Spirit, Candle Lesson, and there's a videotape. There's some caveats. Um, everybody has a different color. You can email me if you want for that color only. And um, I'll give you the color. But basically, that will help you through getting through the day, um, especially on the ones who are so depressed they don't even know. They're like um, um, fetuses in a closet because they don't want to even put their mind to it. And it's so painful. And how I know all of this is because in a way like the film Ghost, I step into the people and I'm able to read them and encounter what they're going through, um, where it's severe depression, where you're really insecure about who you are, your relationships, and that's another thing that's going to go on. A lot of you are going to, um, can I say, um, change your relationship, either even to the extreme where you might be wanting to leave or will leave on that. Um, where life is not as um, what you had planned and you've evolved and maybe your partner hasn't. 
remember, we don't evolve all at the same time. And even if we do evolve at the same time, it's also independently, not together, but independently. A lot of people are um, leaving the earth um, naturally, sometimes heart attacks suddenly, um, and you can't control that. Um, that's their choice. And uh, I don't know if Bob, you know this, Bobby, but people you generally know a, a few days to a week before, sometimes longer, they, they're going to die, even though it's an, a freak accident. Um, so, you know, we, we do know uh, on an unconscious, superconscious, level that we are going to transition um so don't look for it obviously but we do know um and don't start getting worried about the terrorism i did put one out on terrorism all of it is in an amalgamation under one under america in the youtube but it's also in separate categories if you don't want to go through an hour's listening of every all the categories um which is you know, if the predictions on the weather and tornadoes and hurricanes and everything else that I've been predicting. Um, so it's pretty sad that they go to that level, but it is important that we know there's a difference between depression, which is clinical um, and it's chemical, to a depression that is not part of your personality. Um, there are people who are controllers, as I said, but obsessive. They have a harder time. So it's all this mix of everything. Um, but I hopefully have helped a few out there uh, understand that it's not you or it's um, don't feel persecuted. You're also going to be reviewing your life and looking at your life in the way of what is going on? Who, who's around you? Uh, what have you done in your life? And not to judge. It's just saying, boy, I have done a lot. I have achieved a lot. But the people who um, are persecuted within themselves, in their own mind, are people who are type A, who um, always want to overachieve. Um, and they feel guilt that they haven't achieved everything they should have. You have to sit back. It's Life is giving you a present of just keeping calm and quiet to reflect, not to go crazy with. Um, I don't know, Bobby, if that helped you. you. You think that that helped a few people there. What do you well, think? That's great. I've got a few minutes left. Uh, two quick questions to take with less than a minute on each of them. One is um, the women's movement is very strong now because of the uh, sexual abuse and charges. And a lot of it started in Hollywood, the United States, but it's all over the world now. Women are standing up. Uh, what do you feel or see or think about that as far as your the, the, the near future? Excuse me. Um, it's actually it's in the progression of change where um, we, you know, not only women, there are certain other things that have been abused, uh, where it's, it's coming to a degree where we've always we've had that, or women have been abused, period. But that is just another revelation that we're not going to take it any longer, and that the um, people who were the abusers are, are going to be accountable. Um, sadly, it won't be more prevalent um, in uh, Africa, Asia. Uh, next question. Uh, countries, uh, countries, countries, all over the time. world, especially in the United States, there are a lot of people in the eastern area because that's where the station is located. But I have done meetings, uh, a lot of meetings for the last nine years, uh, running the meeting with the Gary Noel Health Support Group. And we have a lot of people that um, come to the meetings but also ask questions. And they're, they've been listening to the show. They're listening to this show today. And a couple of them asked me to ask you about, uh, I know you don't go by timing as to how when it might happen, but the earthquake, there's talk about that because the the, uh, the ground is about to, to burst because it's been quite a while since the last one, and it, it's overdue, according to many reports. Just an idea, just something to tell my listeners, or you, could, you can tell them right now, about the possibility of earthquake, how bad it's going to be, and what, what part of the area of Southern California Anything you can tell us about that. I know you can't tell us okay. anything, but tell what you can, please. Sure. Um, now, a lot of people, when I left um, Orange County, 
were, oh, is it is it a big one and that's why you're leading? <laughs> no. But um, basically, um, we are well overdue. There is going to be a stronger earthquake later on this year. That's not it. Um, there's going to be a six. But it'll be really off um, into the ocean a bit more, and it'll be not shallow. But it is a wake-up call, and I will say it's not to come yet, not this year or, um, or next. I'm not saying more than that, um, but I will put it out when I see it. Um, but we're not allowed because otherwise, not not that we're not allowed, but I don't want to panic people. But this is a prelude for people to realize we have an evacuation plan, have your supplies ready, water, um, medication. Be aware of those kind of um, things that you do need. Um, but it's there are going to be... Um, too significant, they're actually 5.5, 5.8, yeah, just outside Los Angeles, uh, around about in August that I'm seeing. But it's going to be decent, uh, kind of deep, but it is going to um, affect a foundation. So um, there's that one. But the big one is not coming in yet. Okay? Yes, that, that's a great answer. That's good. You know, uh, for our listeners, there's been a long history of earthquakes in California, especially in the two major cities, Los Angeles and San Francisco, and, and the areas around there. And it's just quite a thing that is has destroyed and, and done a lot of damage in, in the past. And um, there's a lot of questions about that. For our listeners, Darshini has been so accurate with her information. Uh, this is why I, you should tell your friends to hear this show. You can hear it on the telephone. You can hear it on the online archives. Um, and uh, she's, she's happy and willing to listen to your, uh, your, if you have any questions or you want to talk to her, you want to ask something. Darshini, could you give us your contact information right now, please? Yeah, they can just email me. I don't give my phone number out, but they can just email me at darshini underscore in spirit at yahoo.com. Um, I do have to be honest. I don't, um, I get inundated with YouTube questions. Um, so I don't, I will not be giving readings, but if there's a quick question that is, you know, manageable, I'll send something out. Otherwise, I'll be very polite and um, Great. I, have to say I, understand. So I, I work seven days a week, so it's a bit much. Yeah, I advise our listeners to do that. Uh, Darshini, can you say that slow? Because we have listeners that say sometimes we, they're given the information a little too fast. Very slow oh. and clear as to how people can reach you. It's Darshini, D-A-R-S-H-I-N-I, at, oh, sorry, I apologize, I went blank there, Darshini underscore in spirit, I-N-S-P-I-R-I-T, at yahoo.com is one. Great. And they can okay. email me about it. Good. As we wind down, we've got about a minute or, or so left of time right now, Darshini. Any just one minute of time, of last minute thoughts for our listeners about the future and what's going on and all the, the stress that people are having, the depression. Anything you can say for one minute, please, as we finish this up. Of talk. course. Thank you. Um, thanks, Bobby, first of all. I really appreciate you. Um, really, it's about that this year is going to be uh, far more or not so much intense with the weather, I'm afraid. And that's going to show where we are going through a terraformer of the planet because we're going through a huge change on energy, so is the planet. So you are going to see all of these uh, extremes where the, it's going to hit more and more higher temperatures. So just know that it is a good thing. We are in change, but you also have to understand that it's going to affect you. Just be patient with yourself and I'll try and find out, and you'll get guided to the right people um, in books or information um, for you to find out who you are and what you are. And that's what it is. It's about a search for who you really are. Just be happy. That's all they want you to be is to be happy and achieve that peace that you can achieve here on on this side of this dimension, not the next, okay? And thank you again, Bobby. I appreciate well, it. Well, Darshini, 
thank you. It's a wonderful report. I know you had told me that every year you get ready at the end of the year and you're ready for a new year. This has been a, a brand new 2019 report on what's happening. Excellent job. Your accuracy has been outstanding, and thank you so much for being with us, okay? Thank you, Bobby. You take care. Okay, sure will.